<laughs> Hi, my name is Taran uh, from Songshin Women's University. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about our work, Privacy Preserving Fair Learning of SVM with Homomorphic Encryption, uh, which enables to train fair nonlinear classifier while protecting the privacy of sensitive information. Nowadays, algorithmic fairness is an important issue because automatic decision making from a biased AI can lead to practical harms to a specific group, even though the machine learning model does not have any discriminatory intent. For example, in 2018, Amazon recruiting AI was scratched because of bias against women. Fair training can help to correct this bias in learning process to produce a fair model. However, fair training also requires some sensitive information, which inherently implies privacy concerns. For practitioners, it is not easy to collect private, private information enough. Let's, let's investigate this problem from a fair learning scenario for term prediction. In this scenario, we can assume that the modeler wants to develop their own fair classifier for term prediction. For fair training, users need to provide their data, including sensitive information. And regulator can just administrate the model of fairness for term prediction. However, in this scenario, there are some problems for each party. All users or some regulation can require the pri privacy protection of sensitive information. Note that we are, in this work, we are interested in protecting only the sensitive group information. Anyway, on the other hand, the modeler does not want to sacrifice the model secrecy to train a fair classifier. So they do not want to uh, publish their model. Uh, and from the regulator's perspective, they have limited resources to administrate multiple modelers for model fairness. Then our question is how to address the privacy and secrecy problem one and two and the problem three for regulators burden. Secure computation is a promising direction to privacy preserving machine learning because it allows computations without compromising data privacy. Secure computation, uh, secure multi-party computation and homomorphic encryption in short MPC and HE are two representative secure computation methods. In two-party MPC, uh, after secretly sharing the input data, two parties can compute f of x together, allowing multiple communications. Thus, MPC can help to address problem one and two about secrecy and privacy, but cannot relieve the burden on regulator who manages multiple modelers. On the other hand, using homomorphic encryption, uh, after encrypted input is sent to other party, all computations for f of x can be conducted homomorphically on one side. The encrypted results can be decrypted by the one who has a decryption key. Thus, HE can address regu regulators' burden problem three in addition to secrecy and privacy problems unlike MPC. However, unfortunately, applying secure computation methods to fair machine learning training is not straightforward. Then what kinds of issues are in fair machine learning with secure computation? Uh, first, fair machine learning problem is optimization with fairness constraint, but it is not friendly for secure computation. Thus, we need to adapt it to the unconstrained optimization with careful design, such as penalty method. Second, uh, both secure computation methods uh, have some restrictions on efficiently computable operations. Hence, uh, for a given f, finding an MPC friendly or AT friendly approximation of f is a key problem to enable secure computation. Thus, uh, we need to approximate transcendental or non-polynomial function into the functions we, uh, which can be decomposed into uh, the supported functions such as Boolean circuit or arithmetic. Uh, in our HC case, the supported functions are arithmetic. 
uh, in particular for the efficiency of HE, multiplicative depth or the number of multiplication should be controlled to be low and small. Now I will uh, discuss some prior prior work on fair machine learning and privacy preserving fair, fair machine learning and their limitations. Uh, to reflect fairness constraint to learning process, uh, Jafaido proposed differentiable fairness constraint defined by covariance metric between group information and decision function. Based on this formulation, they propose fair logistic regression and fair nonlinear corner SVM. Uh, they could solve this problem by using the existing convex optimization solver. However, because this problem includes transcendental function uh, and should be optimized with constraint, uh, which makes it difficult to apply CPU computation methods for privacy protection in fair learning. Uh, Kibbert Sado proposed fair learning of logistic regression model with MPC. Um, to uh, make this FLR MPC friendly, they adapt optimization with constraint to the unconstrained optimization uh, problem with using these kinds of optimization technique. And they also approximate transcendental functions such as sigmoid uh, with piecewise linear function. Although Kilbert said all cleverly addressed the privacy issues in fair training by using MPC, we still have some issues. Training fair logistic regression with MPC requires interactive cooperation between two parties, and logistic regression is only a linear model. Thus, uh, we use HE to train nonlinear fair corner SVM model, uh, where the modeler conducts HE computation or by itself and obtains the, uh, the encrypted uh, model. And a uh, regulator takes on key management. Therefore, because, uh, however, uh, because the, the optimization algorithm for fair training is not tailored to HE yet, we have to reserve it. Also uh, in our work, we focus on privacy preserving fair SVM training with uh, fairness constraint and uh, makes it HE friendly. Uh, AT has not been considered for fair training of SVM, mainly because optimization with constraint, non-polynomial operation, and large number of multiplication are not AT friendly. So we reformulate our problem to an AT friendly one, pursuing the following three steps to address the corresponding challenges C1 to C3. As a result, we demonstrate the effectiveness of our method in terms of accuracy and fairness achievements while reducing computational burden on regulator. Uh, now uh, we want to dive, in, uh, dive into our solutions for efficient fair learning of SVM with HE. Although the original SVM problem is quadratic problem with inequality constraint, it can be reformulated into least square SVM, uh, which is QP with equality constraint and has a linear system of equations as dual problem. Thus, uh, we similarly reformulate uh, LS SVM with fairness constraint based on covariance metric into QP with equality constraint. As a result, from the primary problem here, um, we can uh, obtain the system of equation, uh, system of linear equations as a dual problem by applying corner trick for nonlinearity and Lagrangian dual and KKT conditions. Now we can obtain the dual solution alpha and beta by inverting, uh, just by inverting uh, the matrix A. Uh, by using shock complements, we can obtain the following equations uh, for the inverse. Uh, matrix B of A. Uh, therefore, we finally uh, obtain the explicit formula for dual solution alpha and beta. 
Also, we do not have to apply any numerical optimization algorithms, which are not data friendly to obtain solution. Then now our problem is, uh, how can we efficiently compute this solution with HE? Uh, the second step aims to reduce the inefficient HE computations. To do this, we concentrate on the fact that only the sensitive information needs to be protected. Thus, the modeler can access to the input variable uh, that does not contain sensitive information. As a result, we can pre-compute the parts which require only the input data, such as the corner matrix K or K hat inverse K without using HE. Thus, we can easily compute any kind of corner, including transcendental RBF corner. And we also found that all AT computations in alpha and beta are concerned with the shared part, uh, which consists of the multiplication between the pre-computed matrix and encrypted sensitive variable. Then how about B22? Um, the remaining parts B22 also has the shared ciphertext components like this, uh, but it requires the matrix inversion. Because uh, the inversion operation is not polynomial, we need some numerical approximation algorithm for it. Uh, for B22, we can use uh, these, uh, these kinds of numerical inversion algorithm. Uh, however, this algorithm requires a bound for this term. Thus, we can use the bound obtained by our proposition 2 to apply this numerical algorithm. Although we already obtained AT friendly fair SVM training, the AT multiplication between n by n pre computed matrices and the encrypted sensitive information can be a costly part in fair SVM training. Thus, we additionally reduced AT computation with low rank approximation by leveraging the property of pre computed matrices, uh, which are uh, not secret to modeler and have the same eigenvectors with the same order of eigenvalues. As a result, we can reduce the overall complexity to depend on P instead of N here. Uh, and uh, uh, we can also increase the ciphertext sharing because of, uh, because of VI transpose. It is because many uh, uh, parts concerning sensitive variable and corner matrices uh, has this uh, the shared parts VI transpose Z. Now I will explain our uh, evaluation to investigate the effectiveness of our method. In our experiments, we use linear and nonlinear synthetic data set uh, and four real world data set which are popularly used in fair machine learning studies. Uh, we also use a Heian library written in C++ for HE. And we use uh, these two evaluation metrics, accuracy and statistical parity, which have a trade-off relationship. Uh, SP represents how fair the model is, and the higher SP implies the fairer. Uh, we consider three types of baseline. The first baseline is LSSVM, uh, which is non-fair SVM model. And we can also, uh, we also consider two non-privacy preserving fair learning methods, FLR and FKSVM proposed by Jack Lidl. As privacy preserving fair learning method, we compare our results with FLR with MPC proposed by Kilberto Settle, which are represented as MPC PW and MPC SN. And we also formulated and implemented a fair logistic regression with HE, in short, FLR HE by ourselves for comparison. Uh, through uh, the synthetic data set, we found that our SVM classifier can result in fair model with trade-off inaccuracy. 
As shown in this table, SPs of our method are over two to three times increased for linear and nonlinear synthetic data set. In addition, we can obtain nonlinear decision boundary for nonlinear data set, unlike logistic regression model. Uh, this is the result for real world data sets. In figure, the top upper right side implies a greater trade off between accuracy and fairness. Our S, uh, ESVM HC method, represented as blue solid line, outperformed all other privacy preserving methods in this regard. And ours were even comparable to known privacy preserving methods such as FLR and FKSVM. It implies that our algorithm can provide more reliable solution than gradient-based privacy preserving fair learning algorithm. Uh, in uh, our model, we also achieved fairer results with negligible accuracy drops. In addition, training times are affordable for, uh, from around 250 to 330 seconds. Uh, to summarize, uh, we've we proposed a privacy preserving fair SPM training using HE, which addresses the conflict of con protecting sensitive variable and eliminating the disparate impact uh, or bias. Um, we use secure HE protocol for fair SPM training while reducing the computational burden on regulators. Uh, and uh, all, the, all the optimizations uh, makes our fair SVM training efficient in spite of using HE. Uh, our main algorithm shows comparable accuracy with non-privacy preserving baseline and our performance privacy, privacy preserving methods uh, using MPC. Thank you for paying attention to this talk and please refer to this QR code or link in the chat uh, if you are interested in our paper.